Antonio, thank you for coming in to spend some time talking to us today on the Eden Channel. Uh, you're the president of Eden, but for those who don't know what Eden is all about, perhaps you could say, in a nutshell, what is the Eden organization? Well, thank you, Steve, for this opportunity. Well, actually, um, I would define uh, Eden as a complex organization that covers um, all the different aspects, uh, different elements of what is the professional uh, community um, around open distance and e-learning or open and digital education, I would, as we would say today. This means that we, uh, from the start, Eden uh, gathers uh, two sub-networks in a sense. Uh, first of all, it is an institutional um, association, so we have uh, as much as uh, almost 200 institutions uh, represented in our network, uh, covering all sectors of education uh, of different sizes as well, not just only European, but also from other regions of the world as well. And apart from that, uh, we have also individual membership. So Eden is not just the institutions, it's also its members and especially the experts in, uh, in our field. We, are, uh, we have uh, over 1,200 um, experts, so they are not only from Europe, uh, also uh, similar to what happens with institutions, but of course uh, they represent the best of European expertise in, in this field. Yeah. Okay, so, so the, the question that I, I really wanted to ask you was, when you took over as president, you must have had a vision for how you wanted to push Eden, advance Eden's, uh, Eden's methods forward. Um, can you tell me a bit about how, how, what your vision is for Eden? Well, Eden uh, is, is, has been, has become in the, in the last uh, couple of years, the European hub for uh, the world, let's call it, the, the global community of open distance and the learning or open and uh, digital education as well. So in this sense, um, we basically operate as the meeting place for the European community. This uh, happens uh, uh, so through s several forms. Uh, because of, uh, by the conferences, we are the largest, or, uh, we are the organizer of the largest conferences in our field in Europe, uh, scientific uh, or academic conferences. Um, we are also uh, organizing the, what is now repeated as the most important or best uh, research uh, dissemination uh, workshop in the world. And, and apart from that, the conferences will also uh, support the, the research community, support the practitioners. Uh, in their in their uh, activity by uh, by giving them uh, access to information by supporting them um, also give, um, uh, supporting governments and the, and the policy and decision makers regarding regulation and so on so we try to cover all of these uh, aspects of, of the um, of the field in that sense my vision would, is of course to um, um, transform e or had been to transform Eden into a comprehensive organization as such, but also um, a representative of the European legacy and the European expertise in this field. So basically uh, developing all the different aspects involved and uh, all the different kinds of expertises and the culture, learning cultures and, uh, that are involved. You're also investing in the youth, aren't you? Uh, yeah. so, so there are several schemes I've noticed you're, you're introducing, like the Young Scholar Movement and, and the Eden Academy. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you say something about that? Well, those two uh, connect with two important aspects of the organization. One of being the recognition of professional achievement and the recognition of, uh, uh, of basically of the work that is being done. We uh, usually um, recognize not just uh, the quality of research, but also um, the, the quality and impact of uh, the life achievements of our, of our um, experts. Uh, and, but we also uh, need to uh, open up the community to the newcomers. Uh, as we all know, uh, our field is expanding dramatically and uh, in a very um, fast pace. Mm -hmm. And a lot of new players and of new actors are coming in. And we need to embrace them uh, in order to share with them the, the values, the knowledge, uh, the, um, the expertise, the experience of this legacy, that, this European expertise and legacy that I uh, was just, ref just referring to. So in that sense, this opening uh, of the organization to the new generations that are not typically uh, members of uh, professional associations is important and can be also achieved by uh, the recognition scheme. So this recognition scheme is a form of bridging to these new generations. As for the Eden Academy, it's a, 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 also an important aspect 
of an organization as ours, which is also allowing, uh, um, uh, providing training opportunities for, for the community. So uh, as, once again, uh, the field is expanding, also it is expanding the need for uh, training opportunities uh, for the new uh, uh, practitioners. And so this is an important aspect that Eden will be developing in the future as well. Sounds great. Well, one, one final question before we have to, to go, and that is that we know that next year, 2016, is the 25th anniversary of Eden. Yep. Now, you must have some celebrations planned. Yes. Do, you, do you want to give us some secrets? Well, um, uh, the secrets will be uh, <laughs> coming out uh, soon enough. But anyway, um, we, uh, we are, as we were saying, uh, celebrating our 25th anniversary. Uh, the, the conference that is planned for Budapest next year will be the climax of those uh, uh, celebrations. Uh, the celebration actually starts now, just uh, when we'll uh, wrap up the conference in, in Barcelona. And there will be a special um, uh, committee uh, in Eden that is already preparing um, this program of celebrations. What we want, basically, I won't get into much details because they will be uh, available soon. What I would uh, uh, share at this moment is the idea behind it. And the idea is not just to basically celebrate the past. Of course, we have a great past, but the past is useless if we don't transform it into the future. Um, so what we are trying to do with these celebrations is to, um, uh, to recognize and to acknowledge the best of our of our past and present, and to link this past, this, uh, um, the great uh, colleagues that actually built the field, in, which is our field of practice today, and to bridge them with the younger generations and the new players that are just starting. So uh, our celebrations will be a kind of a special kind of one, uh, which is basically trying to gather different kinds of generations in basically uh, rebuilding the future. If you look at the past of Eden, you just basically find a history of the future because we have been always trying to anticipate the future. And so uh, from, the, from the first uh, years of Eden, it always has been like that. And so what we're going to do now is to try to uh, bridge the history of the future from the past with the actual future that is being built now. It sounds fantastic. Uh, here's to a bright future for Eden. Antonio, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, Steve.